Transmitting to you from Old Heart Radio. Hey. What? It's finally happened. It's On a here. consistent basis, we are remembering the number. <laughs> I don't know if you heard at the beginning here, but uh, number 26. 26. Put it together, it makes eight. <laughs> My God. What a whopping number. And a beautiful number. A beautiful, a, a beautiful, perfect number, <laughs> number, if you will. Would you say uh, your year 26 was your best year? Hmm. I mean, it was a fine year. I aged well that year. That's for sure. Gracefully. That's for sure. Great, gracefully. Gracefully <laughs> aged. The only thing I've ever done in my entire life gracefully is age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were a healthy 55. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> growing crow's feet since uh, 1988. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, quick shouts out to uh, Voss Water. Oh. Not that they're sponsoring us, but the ludicrousness of their water bottle <laughs> needs to be uh, addressed. As somebody who thinks The Rock is a cool man. I lo- I, same here. Yeah. Not, he seems not like a rock. legitimately hard worker and cool guy. This seems like the <laughs> most disposable, non-disposable water bottle I've ever seen. Let me just put it this way. So The Rock seems to do, like, he likes to do his cheap meals in excess. He likes to, you know, like, work out real fucking extreme. Oh, yeah. Apparently, he likes to go, like, over the top with his water bottles. And, like, <laughs> go all out with, like, the the individual single-use glass water bottle. Yeah, I mean, at it's least... It's decadent as fuck. Like, I mean, glasses... <laughs> considerably more recyclable than plastic it is but, but it, still it just seems like such a big production for yeah. for for literally just some tap water this they, looks it's this, artisan water excuse me this looks more that glass water bottle <laughs> looks more well made than like i went to a really nice hotel about a year ago on like a work thing and they had little bottles in there that were like for your convenience and for lack of waste so you can hold on to these oh that mass-produced glass water bottle is of higher value than those. <laughs> and I can guarantee that it's going to get thrown away. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I guarantee you I'm throwing this away. Well, I'm going to try to recycle it. And what, what did you say? That, like, you were, you were like, at therapy? Yeah, like, yeah. I was getting a massage, and I was trying to, like, I just asked them for some water because they offered it. And I was, like, thinking, like, yeah, they're just going to, like, grab, like, a fucking little, like, Dixie cup of water or something. <laughs> and, like, this lady come, goes goes in the back and then comes out with You're this like fucking, a boss. Yeah, this this. Voss for you. It's, Voss. It was intimidating. I was yeah. like, I don't know if I want to drink of, it. What I'm, kind of <laughs> high class type shit is our workers' comp giving us? That's what I was thinking. Maybe, I was like, holy crap, man. Maybe, is that is that being billed to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck. Insurance has to pay an extra $45 for my your pre- Voss water. My premium went up because of the fucking Voss. <laughs> <laughs> Massage my ass. I'm here for the Voss. <laughs> I, yeah. I like to book these appointments for the Voss. Ooh. Uh, well, speaking of kind of waste, or maybe not, who knows? <laughs> um, let's just—we're just gonna dive right into uh, the Titans season two is yeah. coming up. The 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 finale is coming up on that show, and I have not watched any of it. Yeah. Did no. you watch any of the first season? No. Okay. <laughs> so, did you? N- neither have I. Okay. Um, I there are like some guys that like I, I I kept up with it. Like people's like feelings about it, and the first season seemed quite mixed. The second season seems to be objectively stronger. Yeah, I think they I think they like any show should take like that first season was probably like their test. You know, like will they pull it off? And the second season looks like they're like able to dive a little more and kind of solidify their foundation and yeah. that's like the the world they're building or whatever. Still, like the best comparison I can make is that like this show has been like the first half of the first season of Agents of Shield. Yes. And then like they've started transitioning into the second half of the first <laughs> season, post Winter Soldier, where like shit goes down. Yeah. And it becomes like a super tense fucking thrill ride. It becomes like it will become something pa- like actually like worth watching. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's a. I was trying to be polite, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first fucking the I first mean, like six episodes of Agents of Shield was hot garbage. It's so hard. Anybody, know, anybody that's listened to this long enough knows that we like we love Agents of Shield, but like, yeah, I mean, like admittedly, it is like like the first. Show. It is diff- the first like half of the first season is difficult to stomach. It's the like it's my prime example of like. Like something low budget, it, something tie-in can TV. get great. So just like hold off, you know. Don't like don't yeah. judge it right on the right on the first. I mean, episode. and what sucks is that like specifically with Shield, it lost a ton of viewers and in that initial stuff. But then as soon as Captain America two happened, everybody yep. was like, 
Holy fucking shit, this show is amazing. Uh, because it got great. I heard that when Disney Plus launched, um, actually Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. became one of the, the most popular Marvel series, like Marvel thing on there. Like, I'm it's not been su- streaming consist- I'm consistently. I'm not surprised because it's fucking great. Yeah, and it has word of mouth behind it now. Now, Yeah, exactly. Now it has the momentum behind it, so people are going to yeah. immediately pick it up. On the note of something significantly more <laughs> mediocre, though, Titans. <laughs> Titans Season 2. <laughs> it looks like Arrowverse 2.0. It does, like, uh, except with better costumes. Like, yeah, better costumes and just all around better yeah, production value. It does look like but it has... But the same performances. It has kind of... It looks like the tone is, is like kind of in that like Arrow Season 1 kind of dark still. Yeah, but like they they stick with it. Like Arrow yeah, yeah. definitely fluctuated, and then when it branched off into the Flash, which I you know I got suckered into those shows for sure. But like, <laughs> but like the, they 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 don't, and I say it like that because it's like they get you in the first few seasons, and you're like, God damn it, yeah, this is fucking awesome. Like it's a cool yeah. representation Sick. of like you know like like what this could look you know, at his death and then you're like, no, 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 it's all gone wrong, and then it just becomes like like too fucking I don't know CW. That's all I can. Say. <laughs> It's like a terrible seasoning that you put on things. <laughs> I was talking about like shitty TV with our manager at work, and she immediately went straight to, I fucking hate everything on the CW. The CW just like, <laughs> it taints things out, you know? It, like, yeah. Like, it, like, Arrow, like, okay. But Arrow, like, uh, Arrow aside, uh, the cool thing about Titans, which is what. <laughs> <laughs> what we're trying to talk about. Oh, you just is can't that, get to it. Is that like the th- the they have like those like I said those comic accurate costumes which yeah. look pretty. F- I mean it's ballsy to pull off a comic accurate costume. Oh, Remember absolutely. When, like that was one of the big things about Deadpool. Like when uh, like, I like, wouldn't even yeah I like, mean like was, and Deadpool was like one of the in my opinion easier to translate. Yeah, but but the the fact that they just went balls deep in that like that actual Deadpool costume. Yeah. Like, really was, like, a, a heavy move, because that's... I mean, we're talking about, you know, fucking <coughs> black leather... Co- uh, <laughs> black stupid. leather X-Men, you know, with when when these fucking movies started, and now all of a sudden we want those, like, bright colors and shit, like, on yeah, the Yeah, I mean, and so. I feel like because... Oh, sip of the Voss. Ooh, ooh a little sip of the Voss for ooh, the viewers. yeah. <laughs> Get that sample. <laughs> ah, there it is. Oh, this is... I've been quenched. The Rock. <laughs> Ooh. Do you think that the rock's you, playing uh, the rock paper scissors? He always just like he always goes for the rock. He goes for the rock. <laughs> the most electrifying move in the whole game. Oh, man. <laughs> it's way better than the other two. The um <laughs> the only <laughs> other two. <laughs> the um fuck. We're talking about Titans. <laughs> <laughs> this the, is why the show's so forgettable, man. Hey, no, nah, it's not forgettable. Can, this is charismatic. Forget- it's endearing. Okay, so, so Titans. The, so it's become more it's become more palatable in recent history to go a bit nuts. I mean, like it has like Thor Ragnarok reeked of Jack Kirby. Boom! Like that, that's a really good example. It's yeah. bright. The costumes are like are just like they're right out of comics yeah. sometimes. And nobody bitched about it. No, if dude. we got if we got fucking I can assure you in two in 1998 or whenever the fuck the first X Men movie came out, <laughs> if they were wearing yellow spandex, there'd be some jackass with a faux hawk crossing his arms going. It's not realistic. No, if it was 98, you'd be like, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's so true, though. Dude. It's so true. Like, uh, <laughs> that's that's gay. Like, just the reason I went, oh, no, there for the <laughs> for the viewer. I don't even know if it was recorded. No, Technical difficulties. I think the audio just cut out. It's because we're using this different. We're using a different. Mi- uh, if you can't tell, dear viewers, we're using a different microphone. So the like, tonality of our voices sounds it's, totally it, different. It's it, like in post, I'll have to like. Uh, Oh, it'll be fine, it, but it should be all right. It'll be fine. Either way, like you know, so, you so, know the motto here at Old Heart Radio: "Fuck the listener." <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you listening? Are you, uh, no, but it was yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a good one actually. Dude in his do rag, crossing his arms, listening or, to, listening to in the club. Oh man, <laughs> saying that's gay. Yeah, this <laughs> the rep <laughs> rep in the field. yellow spandex. I just think, bruh. <laughs> I think it's funny how it's happened though. Like it's. People were so wary of comics and superheroes and their Absolutely. introduction into the, like the mainstream media, and that like all of a sudden it went from having to be like like dark and edgy yeah. all the time to ha- like people like wanting a fucking <laughs> comic book in front of them. Yeah, basically, dude. Yeah. It was like the reason why Blade was so Blade nothing, was because nothing screams 
early 2000s oh, comic man. book filmmaking than Spawn and Blade. Oh my god, dude. I feel like the X-Men movies have translated better than those. They have because they they, they have like trace they have like straight elements of like comic storylines yeah. and stuff. Like X2 has like elements like, of like the Phoenix whilst, storyline and whatnot. Yeah, but. whilst those whilst those films are totally like products of their time, that that stuff was palatable back then. Yeah. Now we're getting into a time period where it just becomes so synonymous with modern culture. People really give a fuck about authenticity comics. in their fucking yeah. representation. I which mean, is like fucking we were, dope. We were <laughs> able to have like Thor being a fat ass, yep. with a fucking giant axe, and, yeah, and with dreads, pretty much. It's like it. It's fucking awesome. It's cool. Like, and you're right. Like, I think for some reason we've come this long. Like, that we finally bridged this gap between like, again. So like now, like it the outlandishness of comics is something that we really like people really do just like they want to see they're entertained by it on screen yeah like it's fucking it's rad and so, so I, I, it's, I think, it's great to see quickly yeah uh fuck harley davidson we yeah. can uh, listener i hope you heard that motorcycle driving by oh. uh no but it's we've, we, we've seen it come to like there is still like room for that gritty a bit more realistic Totally. Type deal. Like, I mean, like we saw that with Daredevil. Yeah. But it's great to see Titans accepting it, especially in a world, or not a world, but like yeah, world. Yeah. And where where it can use the concepts established by DC because there's some really creative Definitely. stuff done in that universe. Hell yeah. And I mean, like, it's, oh, I'll it's I'll be the first to say like costume design and everything in DC is fucking sick for yeah. the most part. They have a really really that. cool roster of just like interesting looks for d- different characters. Mm. Dude and yeah, I mean, and seeing the seeing the concept art or not not the concept art but the uh, the first release footage of um, fucking Nightwing, which oh is, yeah, it looks great, dude. Uh, yeah, well, and again, like, which also I just want to throw, throw this out there too. I'm pretty sure the dude who plays Nightwing mm-hmm. is the same guy who plays Cyclops in X Men Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. That'd be so fucking good. I I, it look looks he looks near identical. It's, but no, I've, I've heard good things about the second season. I'm intrigued to check it out. So Fair. we'll have to see what happens with Titans, whether or not all this DC, DC universe shit goes away in like the next year. That's one of my knows. biggest worries. It's like, they it's, have that it, it's being put on HBO now. It's no. So the, that's, that's the other thing. So it's HBO's like streaming services switching from HBO now or yeah. HBO go yeah. to HBO max. Whoa. Yes. And so they're going to be taking, doing the Disney plus thing where they're going to be Adjectives. taking like all of that, all their like properties and basically shoving it onto there. So like Warner brothers, cause it's like, it's like AT&T owns fucking HBO and like Warner brothers is like, is partnered with them or is owned yeah, yeah. by it. And so like all that content will be like arriving on there. Like things like pro- hopefully like, uh, all the Batman movies, the Animaniacs and what else do they own? Uh, all, I don't know. Probably all these television properties, but, uh, <laughs> let's, you know, just, like, let's be real though. Filmmaking and like film media, like, uh, it's like 50% Disney, like 35% Warner brothers. <laughs> Fifteen percent, everybody else. <laughs> Sony still, tr- still Sony trying. Still a little bit. Spider Man, a little, little corner. I, <laughs> I was watching this thing that reminded me about how fucked Sony got uh, a while back, and it was, it was, it was the the day uh, Seth Rogen was talking about how when he was making that movie, um, oh fuck, the interview. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how that like, like he was like he said something to the, the effect of like there should have been more restraint placed on us. Is this from in, that breakfast lunch and yes, show? Yes, which is a, which I is an excellent show. I fucking love David Chang. Yeah, yeah, David Chang uh, has, has. I love that kind of unique way of interviewing people throughout that that series. Just he's inter- he's just he's over just food, a dude, you know? which is great. Yeah, I love that. Uh, but very he, personable. I thought that was kind of funny though. Yeah, like, so, so it just reminded me how bad Sony kind of got like hit, and yeah. now they're like still recovering. They're still oh, recovering yeah, like totally. the reputation I think in terms of like the industry that is yeah i actually really like that perspective the also check out that show like if you were a fan of no reservations in the time of anthony bourdain totally rest in peace fucking love that guy loved his work loved what he did for the food scene just worldwide uh it looks like david chang's sort of pulling that weight now yeah Uh, david chang's definitely somebody to just kind of like follow up he 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 has a like i said he he just brings a very interesting and down-to-earth perspective on he has like that same jaded cynicism that Anthony Bourdain had. Well, and that's kind of it's human. 
Yeah, it's very it's very human. It's human for somebody who's lived who's lived you know a a little bit, and so like I think that's that's kind of one of those things that's needed when you're yeah providing a show like or an entertainment like David. Also check out his podcast, the David Chang Show. Really good. Same kind of (laughs) same same kind of review. Uh, um, just gonna throw that out, throw this out there. Uh, Ringer Podcast Network. If you need a uh, film TV <laughs> type of, type of thing going on, we can we can do that for you. We'll fill that void. Give us money. <laughs> Pay me. Pay me. <laughs> Give us free shit. Uh, uh, um. Uh, okay. Oh, let's talk about Daniel Craig, man. So yeah. Okay. Daniel perfect. Craig, the Bond. motherfucking Bond, dude. Uh, <laughs> he just recently <laughs> he recently sort of. announced that he's. I mean, not announced. He just confirmed for sure. That he is done with with the role of James Bond 007 after this, like last movie. Which I, is, I feel like he's been done for a movie. I feel like he wanted to be done for a movie. Yeah, I feel like the dude got dragged back into another one. Skyfall was fucking dope. Skyfall was awesome. <laughs> Skyfall was like a, is I I go back and watch Skyfall from time to time because it's a fantastic film. Hmm. It's not a good James Bond movie. It's just, it's an just an a yeah. great film. Definitely. And watching. Uh, Watching Spectre, it was like he was like slowly walking his way through that movie. <laughs> like there's just a significant less, uh, well, like a significant lack of passion in regards to that film that to anything else. Yeah, I mean, well, like, I, even I, Casino Royale. Like Casino yeah. Royale is a fucking great movie. Say what you will about Quantum of Solace, I think that it's serviceable, but I, Skyfall you know, is I, a fucking. That's a fucking film, right? I there. like all three of those first movies. Yeah, like the the his first three movies in that in his run have been were are still entertaining. Yeah, uh, but you're right. I think like there's I'm, I actually I think they, Spectre is entertaining, but it was just so much weaker. It like killed all the good. Yeah, the goodwill, especially that, coming right off of Skyfall. Yeah, like, <laughs> it was just such a dive. It was like such a yeah. like a yeah. Um, but, but so he's he, he's done after Bond twenty five. Yeah, which I so, I haven't I haven't heard, I think it's, heard personally. I think it's called Shatterhand. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, I don't have something like that. Me, but uh, I haven't heard much much about it. I'm I'm excited to see how they conclude his run though. Yeah, like that's that's kind of my biggest uh, like, hope for this movie is that for, they give him a good rap. From know? what I saw, it was um. So from what I saw, it looks like it's going to be almost like a handing over the title type deal. So they where Double O Seven is going to be somebody else. Yeah. So right. it's the woman who played Monica Rambeau in um, Captain Marvel. Oh, okay. So they did actually announce somebody. Yeah. I was wondering so that she, when I was reading. So it looks like this movie is going to be like the transition of title. Like yeah, he's okay. gonna finally be deemed like too much of a raging alcoholic to be yeah. 007. <laughs> and she is going to take the mantle and he's gonna become like her like her handler. Yeah, okay. Like yeah, type basically. Deal. That would make sense, like some sort yeah. of man. But he I remember in the descriptor, the like the the casting descriptor when they were doing a little synopsis is mm-hmm. like Daniel Craig's James Bond is introduced to the new 007 and he immediately tries to seduce her and she and but she's not down with it. It's like that sort of thing. Oh yeah. It's like the first woman ever to, to not be seduced by Daniel Craig. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean I I'm intrigued because there's been like this running theory uh, f- since like the since since people started really picking up on like okay there's been like fucking six James Bonds at this point yeah, yeah. that it's really that it's really a code name yeah it's got to be a title huh? yeah that's a title and like their name in the field is James Bond mm-hmm. and that's what they go by in their 007 and then that gets handed off to another person yeah that's which I sort of like I love that and it 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 it, it makes like it makes sense for the whole to to yeah. do to just say that and let that be like the reason why there's been so so many. Yeah, uh, Christoph be- Waltz is coming back as well. Oh as, fuck yeah, as Blofeld. Dupe. Um, so my name is Christoph Waltz. What? I'm so happy to be in this <laughs> film. So happy. My name is Christoph. Uh, I it's think it, I think it'd be like really interesting. I mean. To see them, like, uh, maybe, like, uh, firmly establish the history of James Bond in one of these yeah. movies. You know, sometime. Like, actually, like, I, like, commit that kind of, like, thing to camera, to, like, They can, to, they to can like, go back dialogue. and they can do, like, the greatest hits. <laughs> 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 they can do, uh, fucking, they can, you can get the shot of, uh... Oh shit! This well, is the one that you said you really liked. Oh, Sean Connery. Yeah, they can get the picture of Sean Connery um, water skiing <laughs> oh, off the tidal shit. wave of, of icebergs. 
the just horrible balls. CGI of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I, I mean, I just think it'd be like, it'd be, it'd be better, it'd be best for them in the age of like franchises and universes and yeah. in these movies. It'd be, it'd be good for them to like try to firmly establish a yeah. way of like tangibly keeping it going. I'm because, with you. Uh, I, I like, do. Like, I it's do like how like Doctor the, Who does it. You know, I mean, yeah. they just like early on, they just made this like little idea that like There's he regenerates resurrect, himself. Yeah, you yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> like, like just, whenever an actor is done with it, he regenerates. Just put like a line of dialogue in a fucking movie that's like, oh yeah, yeah, the 007 is a, is a title held, or James Bond is a code name held by certain agents because of their value or whatever. Yeah, you know well, what I mean? they like, they reference that there's like a W 006, there's yeah, 008. It, there's the yeah, the 00 as soon as I said that, I was like, there is already kind of that <laughs> established. I just remember, I just remember that there was a fucking. Uh, Who's the 004? 004. <laughs> there's. I just remember there's a show that I watched as a kid called. Uh, it was called um, Phineas and Ferb. Oh yeah. Okay. And it's actually written by some of the writers, Rick and Morty. Nice. So it was a super clever kid show. And my like in talking to my parents, they have like they're like, oh that show is fucking great. <laughs> like we loved watching that shit with you and your sister as kids. Nice. There was a there was one, and they would regularly regularly like spoof on these big franchises. Okay, there was yeah, one yeah. where they went to London to visit like some cousins or something. And they had, it's so stupid, they had a pet platypus that was a secret agent. Oh, shit. On the side, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> agent, agent P. And he, <laughs> they, um, they teamed up with, like, the British Special Forces, and it's Agent P running around with double O-O. Oh, shit. <laughs> double O-O. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wouldn't that just be triple O? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's double O-O. Called and triple O. He's just, like, this incompetent dipshit. While this platypus is fucking stunting on people, this fucking he's ridiculous. just getting laid out over and over again. <laughs> like, double O-O, make him canon. <laughs> oh, man. I, that'd be fucking dope. Uh, <laughs> well, I hope, I mean, yeah, it'll be cool to see, like, to see them run run Daniel Craig's, uh, or finish Daniel Craig's run. Yeah. Uh, he's definitely been, like... I think that's, it's due, like, it's done filming. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be coming out. Like, in the next year or so. Definitely. We, we gotta There's, be having a trailer soon. Yeah. Because Spectre was like 2016. Yeah, it's been yeah. a couple years. And I, 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 that's one thing I do like. I like these franchises that give it time to breathe. You know, like I like the Marvel films because it's focusing on different characters. But if they pumped out James Bond every year with the same motherfuckers in it. It's exhausting. It would get exhausting. Yeah, like that's that's a very true point. It's, yeah, it like some well, and it also depends on the property. Like some properties you can get away with more frequency. Like with Marvel, like you were saying, yeah. like you, you have more chance to, but that, to explore individual characters as well yeah. as ensembles. That's with, it's a it's a wider universe. Yeah. While with, James Bond is very much like it's one dude, small group of people, yeah. like this is their adventures. And I'm okay with having some time to breathe between films like yeah. that. Well in a way it's like it's like a it's like the Mission Impossible movie, yeah, movies. Like that was, that's like, actually they, a great they, comparison. They, 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 they don't, like, there's, a, there's what, like, there's, a, I, heard, I, I think, saw somebody, com- was, I don't even know. I think Fallout was, like was, seven. Yeah, I just saw some of the actress was committed to, like, eight and nine. They're, like, oh, it was, um, be fucking, uh, no Peggy idea. Carter. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. She, um, um not, not actually Peggy Carter, but, uh, no, actress Carter's that alive? plays Peggy Carter. I'm just... <laughs> She's Haley, fucking old. Yeah, Haley, Haley Atwell. Atwell. That's it. Um, she's yeah. She's gonna be in the next two. That's right. So it's. Uh, but then at the same time, like those they are slated for like three years between them. Yeah, they don't necessarily like throw them all at you. At once, I can't wait you know for I mean? fucking Tom Cruise to be a relic of a man. Well, like I mean, what are they gonna do with him? Like eventually, like they they're gotta, gonna have like, to. They, they gotta start writing him like older roles. Yeah, you they're know gonna have I mean? to start like passing the torch. Maybe yeah. Simon Pegg can be the real badass from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean, his, Simon Pegg. Fucking. Uh, um, I love Simon Pegg, guy, but like, that'd be so funny to see him in like a, a he's, hard action role. Well, he's like, he's in those movies well, I know quite that. dominantly, and he's his f- character's fucking awesome. But he's not like riding on the side of airplanes. So like, yeah, he's not. Know. He's not that guy. He's like. Could you imagine Simon Pegg in that scene? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like he's so he's on the sideline in that scene in like a ghillie suit watching Tom Cruise. He's going, "Oh my god!" <laughs> that sounds more like his roles. <laughs> yeah, he's like looking up, looking horrified. I can't imagine him being there. Oh man, um, the I mean, like 
it's I do really like franchises that give you time to breathe because when the next one comes out, if it's on absolute fuck up, you'll enjoy it more. Yeah. Well, and you're and yeah, exactly. You're like you're finally ready for it. You're not like yeah. You know, like holy shit, I just finished that one or I just finally got <laughs> yeah. to see that one. Like now I have this other one to catch up on. Like which like I and I will I'll give credit where credit's due. Mm-hmm. That's how you avoid franchise fatigue. And oh, like yeah. the thing with the Marvel films and so like what's getting people at this point. Whenever I talk to people that haven't seen those, like I was talking to Spencer, he mm-hmm. was like, "You're a big fan of those, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he he's like, "It's I'm too far gone at this point. Like, there's no there's no fucking chance." <laughs> he's like, "I'm too far gone, man." I'm said like Spencer, so I was like, "There's I just I don't really have yeah. much time. I can't watch all those." Just tell him to watch Iron Man one, Captain America two. That's I tried to pull Thor three. I tried to pull like, that shit. I was, like, I was like, I was like. Well, so, okay, here's, you gotta watch Iron Man, you gotta watch The Avengers, you gotta watch Captain America 2, you yeah. have to watch, um, Avengers 2, you have to I'd watch... Say, yeah, I'd say, Avengers 2 actually does, is kind of a pretty good, like, linchpin in the Yeah, in there. You do it's one of those, like, catch up on it's it. not super good, but, like... And, it, and it, moves, like, it moves. It sets up like, for the next like yeah. handful of movies. Like you gotta watch. You gotta watch. Uh, you gotta watch Thor Ragnarok. You gotta watch Civil War. You gotta watch Doctor Strange. You gotta watch. And then he told me to shut up. <laughs> like, Fair that's enough. and it's like there is a level of alienation, for lack of a better word, that happens at that point. Yeah, where it's well, because like, you get into, intimidated by so many properties yeah. that you have to like, like. Boom! Another one. Another yeah, one. It, DJ Khaled. Another uh, one. <laughs> 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 well, it's, I mean, like, there's something to be said. Like, it, like, then that's like the different, like, one of those differences. Like, people can like easily digest music, uh, you know, well, yeah, in, in a higher frequency. I it's think it's a because, smaller chunk of your day. Like, but, I'm I'm going to fucking watch, um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I mentioned that yeah. the, the, in the last podcast. Yeah, yeah. That is a fucking five and a half hour Broadway show. Well, exactly. Like, that, it's like that's a commitment of like it's a, a commitment type of, time. of entertainment. And I mean, you know realistically, I mean? that's two movies. Oh, totally. Yeah, so, I mean, I can't blame people for being like, I don't have the fucking time of my day. I work I work a full-time job. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the risk of these huge films. So it's like, with a franchise like James Bond, I, I'm like, yeah, it's cool to have one of these every four years. Yeah. Like, I think, spec- yeah, Spectre they're was 2016. Skyfall was like 2012. So that's like four years. Yeah, they're fun every, like, four years or so, but they're yeah. definitely not, like, not like not an annual good every, like, yeah. <laughs> even, like, by, even, t- like, every two years yeah. would be too much. That's I what think. I'm hoping like, doesn't happen with John Wick, because oh, they're man. fucking pumping those out, like, every two Dude, years. I, <sighs> yeah, like, I finally watched all those movies. And it's, they're, they're, they're awesome. They're fucking awesome. They're fucking awesome, but, like... I can't. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't necessarily need to see more. And lead up. And yeah, lead up <laughs> for the third one. Me and Kate watched the first two, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Fuck, I'm done with John Wick for a bit." Yeah, like, <laughs> like I don't. It's exactly. It's like I. Oh man, I don't even like want to watch like, that it's, other one. It's fucking sick. Yeah. I have appreciating. For, I have a val, like a vast appreciation for the stylistic filmmaking of it. Totally. But I don't need to watch another one of these. Yeah, for it, the near future. It just. It, it just doesn't like. Um, it is. It's, it's exhausting. I, and I think they like that particular that property particularly. They probably should like. I think they should like dial wait back a little bit. Yeah. Well, there's gonna Just, be another two of them. So I, get fucked. I know. <laughs> <laughs> get fucked. Get, get, get uh, shit on. Yeah, it'll be interesting. But hopefully, hopefully Keanu Reeves gets busy doing some other shit. And so they, they hey, he's they gonna be in the SpongeBob like, movie. <laughs> yeah, he's the sage. He's, he's the sage. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was. <laughs> It's like they they really just didn't try. They just hyperimposed Keanu Reeves' head into a into a tumbleweed, <laughs> which you know is pretty like pretty on form for him. <laughs> like the SpongeBob movies are kind of like that's I love I love about like I've always loved about SpongeBob in particular is that they've never been Stop shy about fuck. just making <laughs> making it seem like outlandish as fuck. Like or like as like I don't know. Like I remember. Like, well, even in the intro, like how it like starts up up above the water, and it just seems like more real, like more real world. And then yeah. it's like, but then it's like, fuck it, you're going under the sea. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just remember one one episode where it was like, uh, who lives in a chicken parm hero under the sea, and it <laughs> out comes like morbidly obese SpongeBob. It's just like, it. what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Uh, oh man! All right, what else we have? Uh, yeah, the Mandalorian, man. So Mandalorian. I haven't I haven't watched episode three yet. I understand it's out, dear Talk listener. About, it's out. Okay, yeah. we just didn't watch it. <laughs> episode. Yeah, it, it came out like today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Date really of recording. Beat, you really can't beat us up that much. Yeah. Uh, what do you <laughs> expect this to be? A full time job? <laughs> uh, talk about us more. Listen to us more. Get us some sponsorships. We'll make this a fucking job. Voss water. Voss water. <laughs> it's up rock. Under <laughs> Under Armour. Rock the rock sponsor us. Just just rock it. <laughs> just just rock it. Just rock it. <laughs> <laughs>
That's that's is that Under Armour's new motto? I th- I hope so. I feel like we should just be uh, personal spokespeople. Jumanji, the next level the coming Rock out. Himself. Black Adam, eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Ten years in the making. Black I, Adam. I saw Shazam. This, I saw not this in it. Great photo uh, recently, and it was like Kevin Hart superimposed, like his head. Uh, on top of like the rock's body and like the rock that he put like the rock on top oh, of his body gross. like while they were ex- oh, side I've by seen side that. yeah it's it's just, funny. just like the tower like him just like towering over the over the rock is See, just such a funny fucking thing there's there. a, there's a great I love that friendship I think that oh, yeah. I think that's awesome that they hopefully have, like, he pops they, up in black adam I, that would be hilarious I'd say, dude. It, there's a hilarious interview where jack black does his rock impersonation and oh, it's like so um mr mr johnson what have you what have you been doing lately and he's like uh, go and working hard, working hard every day. I'm so busy. Go and work out in the morning. Have a cheat day. <laughs> go try tequila. Then I'm gonna watch an inspirational movie. Then I'm gonna give a pep talk. Then I'm gonna go <laughs> film. And that's only been three hours of my day. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Oh man, Jumanji actually like I'm I, like that would be a fun one if I it, that would be a fun one to go catch at theaters yeah. just because. Did you watch the new the one previously? I finally did. Yes. Yeah. How was it? It was fun. It was just it was just it's just a fun fucking movie. Yeah. Like uh, billion like, dollar film. Totally. <laughs> billion dollar film. It was everybody was like, shitting out on more it when it came more. when it when like the trailers were getting released, but it was very much like that new interpretation of an old property yeah dude it, yeah it brings something it brings something old like older it, into like a fresh generate a fresh like perspective and like into like a newer generate like oh, yeah. generation it's cool not that like the generation for that i mean you it's say not that genera- far apart yeah, you say generation like a, it's I, been like I mean, 10 years yeah which is not a generational gap um you know anyway. whatever yeah black adam black adam is black the rock adam? gonna bring back his 90s wrestling haircut oh my god i hope so because i mean that that's the black adam look the, pretty much well i think that's i mean come on that's why <laughs> the weird, he's been the weird looking the crow's for, peak for so fucking long 10 somebody, years didn't you tell me at one point? At him, yeah i think so like somebody fucking looked nuts. at him and probably was just like that dude looks like he could play black adam <laughs> 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 look at that hair i hope like, we just get a ton of like like pro former pro wrestlers in black Adam. Oh my god, that'd be such a fucking funny thing. So so what was uh, what was the news dealio here? The 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 recent news on Black Adam um, was that and the Rock announced this. And I feel like in just pretty freewheeling, uh, it was just that the JSA is gonna appear in the in the <laughs> Black Adam movie. The Justice Society of America supposedly is, is gonna be like a thing in the movie. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I was gonna ask what that abbreviation meant because I'm yeah, so yeah. used to JLA. Yeah. So the the J, the so the JLA. The Justice League of America yeah. is, is basically like a more modern version of what the J, the, the JSA was. So the J, the Justice Society of America, you have like Hawkman, the original Adam. You have like the original Flash, Jay Garrick Flash. Okay, so uh, you have like Doctor Fate. Um, I was the I, original Black Canary. You know, I felt like that one, like that title specifically, like yeah. the JSA. It sounds like. Uh, grocery market bargain out. It, it definitely grocery like, outlet it, bargain market. It, it's JLA. definitely like yeah, yeah. It, it's not. I, I, I like they were the in terms of comics. They were like the the World War Two era. Yeah. Justice League. They were like so, the people that were you know, fi- that were like trying to win against Captain America. Yeah, like there's like, literally like, there's literally like uh, you know comics where Jay Garrick goes and like def- like is like defeating an army by running around like taking yeah. their guns and stuff. Like, it's like they're and one of their main enemies was fucking like, Hitler. Like yeah, yeah, <laughs> Hitler. Uh, Hitler. But. Yeah, I mean it'd be fucking cool though because because rumors have ha- have been for a while that that one of the main opponents for Black Adam in his in his movies would be Hawkman. So what's the deal with Hawkman? Hawkman is a uh, his character Carter Hall is um, a reincarnated version of uh, another fucking being basically. So like, and this has been a thing. So the this, hawk god or something? Well, not like necessarily a hawk god. It's like it, it's a a, a a thing from like th- uh, well, it, how am I gonna explain this? So he gets reincarnated <laughs> uh, through this like I think it's like the uh, ancient Thangarian Thana- yeah. Thanagarian uh, potential deity or I can't remember exactly, but he uses uh, alien tech alien weaponry and technology. Uh, to kind of be Hawkman, how, like his wings are, are, yeah. are, are sort of uh, one of those prime examples. Like the Thangar- Thanagarians, it's like T H A N G A R I A N or whatever. Yeah, uh, they're like a race of bird 
kind of like people. What the fuck? Like from a different planet. We're talking like we talking like, like Wind Waker here? No, no, no. I mean like I mean like okay, my best example is is the Justice League cartoon that used to be on Cartoon Network. You know that? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, so Hop Girl in that movie. Okay. Or in okay. that show was was a Thanagarian. Okay, cool. And in that so they Hawkman's like the villain version of well, that. Well, not necessarily a villain. He's a good guy. Oh, he is? Yeah, yeah. Black Adam. Black Adam. Don't forget Black Adam is the villain. That's like true. he's he's the villain. I'm not super the villainous familiar with version of Shazam. Yeah. So like, which which has also been so Zachary Levi has been not. He's, it's been said that he's not going to be showing up in the Black Weird. Adam movie. So they're probably saving that for like you know a potential sequel. Yeah. Um, Sensible. But yeah, I mean like the, the if the, if they're going to be going with the idea of an origin story for Black Adam, who has been alive since the ancient Egyptian days. Uh, Fuck really? Yeah, 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 totally. Oh damn. He's been yeah he's he's from ancient Egypt. Shit. And so, like, and so, if they're going to be doing an origin story with him, they'll that makes sense to bring in Hawkman because yeah. he's a reincarnated Egyptian priest or deity. I yeah. can't like again. I think I can't probably off the top I of my head. Deity. But uh, that makes sense. And he uses like he uses ancient like alien weaponry. Yeah. So it'd be a kind of a cool match. Um, but yeah, they're supposed to go with an origin story, which would also mean which would also bring cool. in the JSA uh, because they'd be showing him throughout, like yeah. you know. I, and that, I actually really like the idea of making it a prequel. Yeah. Because then it gives you the option that, if, especially if this character is immortal, that he's going to, ha- it's going to set this up as part of his character, mm-hmm. make him like this force in the background, and then for like a Shazam 2, make him pop, pop in. Exactly. Like give him a, re- like, whoa, well, oh, all of a sudden there's a new Shazam, so yeah. it gives him a reason to like come out of like, work, you know, nowhere and like. <laughs> Because they share the same power. Yeah. His power comes from the Egyptian versions isn't, of those gods. Isn't Black Adam just barely more powerful, though? Yeah, like, that's what I, I'm saying. Here's, here's the thing. So, like, I think Black Adam, in terms of his power level, his power level really, like, stems from his ruthlessness, I think. Yeah. Like, the fact that he is as ruthless as he will be. Like, Shazam has, be, like, ethical he, barriers. Exactly. It, and, and, but, but Black Adam doesn't really do that. So, yeah. like, so I've seen, I've, I've seen comic panels where Black Adam literally tears through, like, a wall of bodies. Like, there's, like, a body of superheroes in front of him and his goal, and he just flies straight through. So they do, he's, like, like he's, like, what Sentry did to fucking Ares. Yeah, dude, like, he's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like, like, and that's not to forget, like, Shazam, they definitely, like, depowered him in that first, in that movie. Yeah. But Shazam is fucking powerful. Yeah. Like, Shazam he's one of the most powerful Superman mystical ass. beings in the fucking DC universe. Yeah. So. <laughs> There's stuff, I mean, like, this child has laid Superman on his ass countless times. Definitely. Uh, so, I mean, and, and it'll be awesome to eventually see him go toe-to-toe with Black Adam. Yeah. Um, but it'll be cool to see them hopefully introduce some new characters as well into yeah. that universe uh i don't know it'll just be it, it'll be cool but um speaking of like like but like new characters and new introductions and stuff like that i keep thinking about like all these things that are going on in terms of the streaming services you have all these different shows popping up like the mandalorian yeah. which is furthering star wars canon you have, oh yeah we were going to talk about the mandalorian we were but <laughs> we only uh, brought but, that up for just a moment but, but you also have like things like the watchman which is furthering like the yeah. canon and the watchman which is also seeping into the greater uh, canon of the DC universe. Yeah, because they're, they're connected. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, the, watch, the Watchmen is a clock been. Well, the Watchmen's a DC property, yeah. and so it always has been like a DC universe thing. But the Doomsday Clock, which is like, yeah, it was like a storyline that's been going on in comics. Yeah. Or I can't even. I don't even know. It's if been it's directly up. tying. It's been like ruling in the Watchmen exactly. with the mainstream DC it's universe, been bring, right? Exactly. It's been bringing them back into like actual like, you know, the forefront. Uh, yeah. In a way. Um, but this show is the show is really furthering the continuity uh, that the that the original novel left, like the graph the original like series left off with. So it gives you like this really interesting comic accurate world for the most part. Um, but there's just like a lot of like expansion happening in a lot of various properties like yeah. Star Wars. Like we're about to see next year a whole fuckload of Marvel expansion. In terms yeah. of like streaming oh, TV streaming service like shows and stuff yeah. like that. And so it, to me it's just been really interesting how that has become like a huge tool to expand canon and yeah. expand universes. Uh, I think it's it's the most akin to what comics is that we've gotten from this medium so far. For sure. I mean long form storytelling has there's a beauty to it that like comics have been doing for such a long time that like you can't get that out of a movie. Like, no. The closest like the closest to a long form storytelling structure that we've gotten is the MCU. Mm-hmm. Just because it's been like 
semi-regular regular releases that all tie together for some greater thing. But still, like, it's yeah. nothing in comparison to what you could do with, here's, like, a 45-minute pop thing. But with the streaming, with these, like, streaming shows, it's starting to become a little bit... And I think that's maybe where you're headed with it. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, it's, kind of, it's starting to become a little bit more of that involvement. Like, yeah, exactly. You know, like, because you're able to, you know, say, like, pop one uh, one or two out, you know, a, a fucking year yeah. or something. And so it, 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 it's... I don't I mean, know, it's just look, interesting. Just look, like, at the peak of Marvel Netflix. Mm-hmm. Like, we had fucking, in one year... Oh my god, dude! It was Luke like, Cage, Iron Fist, Defenders, yeah, Daredevil season three, yeah, and season the Punisher, which uh, just just boom, 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 boom. Fuck yeah! That's I mean, you might as well be dropping a weekly book, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's fucking crazy. It was nuts, and for the most part, like like Iron Fist was mediocre at best. The, <laughs> the sure. Defenders was perfectly fine, but that's like a pretty fucking good batting average. Oh yeah, <laughs> no joke. Like that's, I mean. It, it, that that regularity is I mean I don't know who can keep up with it but yeah but I, I'm, I'm thinking Disney plus will be able to if the Mandalorian totally. is anything to like consider mm-hmm. like like I mean it's totally a western it's totally bought into that into that angle totally and I'm fucking loving it for it well it's also a little bit uh, and I, I saw this pointed out it's it's a, a reference to this like story called the like lone wolf and cub. It's like an old, it's like a samurai story. Huh. So it's kind of like, it, it ties in with that, like, sort of, I don't know, uh, those, like, kung fu kind of western field, field movies. It's fucking weird. I love it. Um, but real real quick, because I we're going to be wrapping up here in just a little bit. Uh, what do you think is going to happen with Baby Yoda on The Mandalorian? I have no I mean, fucking idea. I call him Baby going. Yoda. We all call him Baby Yoda yeah. people because we don't have a fucking name for the species. So deal with it. <laughs> but what do you think? Well, yeah, what do you have any idea <sighs> what might what might come of that, dude? I don't know. I've been racking my brain all fucking week about it. Like <laughs> I mean, like in episode two, he he came in big when they needed him. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, like so clearly the little fucker has great force powers. Yeah, this that might just be uh, that might be why. This I, I wouldn't be surprised if something like this ends up tying into the new movie. That's what I mean. So, like, maybe, like, Palpatine somehow, like, managed to keep himself young by, like, harvesting these, like, super oh force God. powerful uh, beings. Maybe that's one of them. Maybe yeah. that's why there's a bounty on it. Yo. Like, it's intriguing to me to see... And it's, like, like we were talking about. It makes it so much fucking easier to expand these franchises in yeah. interesting ways just by having these consistent releases. Well, exactly. Like, and these fucking episodes are, like, less than three minutes long. Oh, I wish they were longer, though. I know. Sometimes. The, episode two was, like, 25 minutes long. But but you're right. Like, they're, they're great little pops and little, like, a little, ex- like, like uh, extra expansions for these bigger universes. Yeah. And The Mandalorian is really, like... It's, it's good. Gonna, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's, it's great. It's kicking ass in terms of, like, how it's expanding Star Wars in a very I, thoughtful to star, the, the property kind of way. I really I really like what it's doing. Same. And if, like, if this is setting the trend for what to expect from, like, the Marvel stuff coming up, I am so fucking excited. Same. Uh, I did see this little, like, screenshot I think somebody tried to take where they thought they... It was like they looked like the Mandalorian ship mm-hmm. in the background of a shot in the trailer for the Rise of Skywalker. Oh, where it's the shot with all the fucking ships. Yeah. What a fucking dope that would be. That we've talked about on this podcast. Yes. That trailer is yeah. fucking sick. <sighs> uh, but okay, Whew. seriously though, like, what if? I, I mean, that would be like one of my. I would love it if they actually included what happens in this series. Yeah. In some sort of canon and this is just a bigger canon i just want to see like every major film franchise yeah. have that moment from the end of endgame where all the portals start opening oh man <laughs> and, and, and like just people know. just start walking out <laughs> i have I'll look up on youtube some listener jared <laughs> look up portals but with literally everyone Oh shit! Is like it just, and it's like six minutes. Like Godzilla shows up. Fuck, the guys yeah. from fucking uh, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's there. Blade, oh, John Wick. Shit. There's one. There's one, and it's John Wick holding his dog, <clears throat> and the dog fades away and just cuts to Thanos going, "Oh shit!" <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's oh, like man. it's been meme to shit, but I feel like that's what this scene's gonna be. We're gonna like if you're paying attention, yeah. like um for anybody that's seen Star Wars Rebels, the ghost, which is their ship in that, mm. is like the first ship behind the Millennium Falcon in that shot. That's what I mean, that's why that's 
that we have uh we have calamari people ships off to the side as well which like there's <laughs> again it's just like it's just a huge expansion of the universe and they're rat they're they're going they're clearly going with things from like even animated shows we know we so we're like, hitting the point now where references are no longer like oh i read the comics and i understand that reference yeah. now we're getting references where it's like oh i watched that on netflix i get yeah. that reference i watched that on totally, disney channel I, totally. I get that reference Disney yeah. Disney XD. I watched fucking uh, Rebels. It's like it's crazy, dude. I'm I'm just like it's now that all of that's on uh, Disney Plus. I'm de- I actually I'm definitely gonna. I have yeah. not seen. I have not watched the entirety of Clone Wars. I have not watched Rebels. I feel like I'll give I'll give you some recommendations on Rebels because it's a bit rocky in some parts. That's what I was wondering. Like, about it's it. a bit. It's it a looks bit, like it has some really awesome moments. It has some really awesome moments, but then it also skews like pretty kitty. Fair and like there's a good huge chunk of it you just don't have to watch. <laughs> like <laughs> it's good to know. There's <laughs> there's some very interesting stuff, especially like they come across the clones, oh, like shit. the good clones from the Clone Wars, like yeah. Rex and all them. Nice, nice. They that's pri- kind of a nice callback. They pried their control tabs out of their necks. So they didn't have to participate in Order sixty six. Duh, that's so, hardcore. So and they're like living in the middle of a desert. Shit, just by themselves. These like rogue clone troopers. I, mean, I just watched this video about like the history of the Mandalorians. It's fucking nuts. It's insane. There's so much cool shit. And, like, like uh, one of the things about the clones... Yeah, I mean, obviously, we all know that Jango Fett was the base for, like, the clones. Yep. The, the, the Clone Wars. But for the first, like, the first couple... like The first squadron and, like, maybe a couple after that, he personally trained them in the Mandalorian ways. What? Which, like, he, has, for a while, Jango Fett himself was the Mandalore. Yeah, like the the and so he trained these this like squadron in the, the ways of the Mandalorians, what and the like to the point where like they even knew like like ain't like you know ancient songs like that they would traditions. sing like traditional songs That's that they would sing awesome. and stuff. So like it was like and to me it's like this interesting way of like trying to like preserve that culture. Yeah, and I wonder like how many like clones survive like survive so with I that that mentality. The deal with the you know clones what I mean? and what I know about the clones is that they age rapidly okay like okay. they have an expiration date purposefully because Shit. they're clones so yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. despite how it's been like i think when rebels is going on it's been like 10 years since the rebellion okay. or since the uh since the empire rose to power gotcha okay. they're like fucking senior citizens oh shit. like they're fucking old dang yeah Dude, that would suck. That's crazy. It's have it's this, like built-in genetic thing. Yeah, that would just like like make rapidly ages. Oh you. yeah. Fuck. That, I will dude. say there is some fucking dope stuff with like in Rebels, Ahsoka pops yeah, up. That's one of the Ahsoka one of those pops up. I'm super stoked. Dual to learn more wielding about. white lightsabers. Yeah, because she could be. She becomes like a gray Jedi or some shit like yep. that. Like and um fucking the stuff with Maul is sick. Yes, that's kind and of even, one of the most interesting. And even introduce one of the one of my most interesting things in Star Wars, the Inquisitors. Ooh, yeah. You know about them? A little bit. I so know a little bit about they're like the, the slightly force sensitive, like yes. like like force users that uh, Darth Vader has like as these pseudo apprentices. That's right. And they so he's kind of trained them. He's kind of trained them, but like they're just like ex- hunting. They're like one level above stormtroopers, and they're right. hunting pretty much the last of the Jedi. Fair enough. And their whole deal, it's a bit cartoony at some points, but they have these like they have these like lightsabers with these rings that okay. sort of help them fight at the level of a Jedi. Oh. So like they have like spinners and stuff. Oh so shit. they can okay, move yeah, it yeah. faster. Oh wild. Yeah, it's pretty fucking it's pretty fucking nuts. That sounds fucking dope actually. It, it, there is one stupid fucking scene in the finale where they use them as like helicopters <laughs> and they like fly <laughs> away. And I was like, oh God, why? <laughs> they jumped they jump the shark there. <laughs> the, yeah. Star Wars Rebels just fucking jump the shark. Uh quick, one, one quick last thing real, real quick. Um I also heard that uh, just rumor mill, just always rumor mill going hey. spinning. Uh, Russo brothers might be wanting to get down on the Moon Knight show. Those guys are kingmakers. I just want them to do it. I just, um, want, I just want that rumor to be one hundred. You watch Twenty One Bridges? I think that's what's called. Ooh, yes, the, it looks uh, good with Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, directed it looks, by the Russo. It actually looks cool. I heard the villains are actually the villains are really compelling in that movie. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I just like I read that and I was like, ooh, I always love that in them. Oh in yeah, fucking good movie. So uh, you hear that bass line? Don't I you? hear that bass line. It's not just me. I don't hear. It. It's not just you. <laughs> Why are we gonna watch the Joker? Never, oh, man. <laughs> Never. Joker. Come Joker back. Two is coming. Come back. To- yeah, dude. But we'll watch the sequel. <laughs> uh, go out there, use your brains for good as always, and drink, drink your Voss. Drink your Voss. And, uh, <laughs> like the track. Tell all your friends. Sponsor us. Bye.